In this lesson, you're going to learn how to do two important things. How to turn your NXT on and off, and how to hook up your NXT to your computer. So let's start by learning how to turn on and off your NXT. To turn your NXT on, just press the orange button. You'll probably hear some music, and you should also see some graphics on the screen. The NXT will eventually turn itself off automatically if you leave it on for long enough, but most of the time you're going to want to turn it off yourself. To turn off the NXT immediately after turning it on, first press the gray, dark gray rectangular button once, and then the words turn off should appear on the screen, at which point you should press the orange button once. If you've done anything other than just power the NXT on, you may have to press the dark gray rectangular button a couple of times before the words turn off show up on the screen. But if you keep pressing that dark gray button, eventually the words turn off will appear on the screen. And then you can just press the orange button to confirm. In future lessons, we'll learn a lot more about the NXT and its buttons. For now, all you need to be able to do is turn it on and off. Okay. So now let's talk about connecting your NXT to your computer. The physical part of connecting your NXT to your computer is really very easy. You need to find the USB cable that came with your kit and you're going to plug one end into the NXT brick and the other end into your computer. Most of the order that you do things here isn't really critical, but here's the order that I usually use. First, I start the software on my computer. And then I turn on my NXT. Then I plug one end of the uh, USB cable into the uh, socket on the, on the NXT. That's just the, kind of the square end of the cable, right? It just plugs in like that. And finally, you've got to take your other end of your USB cable and just plug it into your computer. The first time that you plug your NXT into a computer that hasn't ever been connected to an NXT before, your computer will have to install the NXT's drivers. This should happen automatically. Your computer may tell you what it's doing or it may not. The catch is that it may take several minutes. You just have to sit back and wait. So. How do you know when it's done? Well, whenever your NXT is connected to a computer with its USB cable, a little icon will appear in the top left corner of the screen. If that icon looks like a little wrench, that's probably because the drivers are still being installed on your computer. The wrench means I'm not able to communicate with the computer yet. Most of the time, that just means sit back and wait. After the drivers are correctly installed, the wrench will disappear and the letters USB will appear in its place. That means the NXT is able to communicate with the computer over the USB cable and you're ready to get started. If you've been waiting for a few minutes and you still see the wrench, first be patient and wait a few more minutes. Maybe go away and get a cup of coffee. But if the wrench doesn't go away after a cup of coffee and your computer isn't giving you any messages saying that it's still trying to install the drivers, then you may want to do the following. Unplug the USB cable from your NXT and from your computer. Shut down and restart your computer. Power off your NXT and then go back to the beginning of this video and start again. If it still doesn't work, then I recommend you call LEGO Tech Support their information can be found on our, resource, on our resources page. If you see USB written on your NXT screen, then you're ready to do the firmware upgrade we'll discuss in the next lesson. If you're planning on continuing to the next lesson now, then you can just leave your NXT turned on, leave the software up on your computer, and keep your NXT and computer connected with the USB cable.